Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to get Rock Band 2 or Rock Band DLCs to work. I'm very excited about this one. I just got it to work and first thing you do is you go to which whichever website you are using to download Rock Band uh, DLCs. So you go Rock Band and you search for the song you like, you want to install and play. For example, Afterlife by Avenge Sunfold. So I want to play that, so I download Package, it's basically the song itself to install. I just deleted the song to reinstall it and to show you how to how to get this to work. So wait for it to install, you uh, download wrap file also. And with the wrap file, go to the, whichever folder that is, in your download folder, and uh, you you need to open the directory of your RPCS3 and then you go to dev hdd0 you go to home zeros and one in the end and the xdata in here you need to put wrap file so you yeah a replace you put it in here basically for the song to work if you install the package and not install the wrap file it will show up but won't work it will uh, get to an infinite loading state. So if you get infinite loading, you know what's the reason of it. <clears throat> so, what? Uh, install. It's installed. Now you get to your RPCS3 and you just install the package. So it says it successfully installed software from package. It says uh, installed and it says blues 3.0 and 15 in the end. So you go to view, game categories, game data, and you search for this game. For me it's Rock Band. So you right click on it. I don't actually have Rock Band installed. It's just uh, game files data. The song itself. So you go to open install folder. Here you go to user dear, user this package and fucking no cannot even say two words right now I'm so excited because it's working so this folder you you copy that out of here now you go to your rock band 2 game data not the game itself you game you go to your rock band 2 game data right click <clears throat> you go to open and install direction as i said i cannot say two words i'm so excited use it there and you paste it in here so as you see it's here songs afterlife and now it's supposed to work <laughs> that's it as easy as that i've watched through three tutorials to get this to work <laughs> i couldn't figure it out. Now I did. There's no video like that on YouTube, so here it is. Now you can uh, go back to game categories and uncheck game data, for example. Oh, you or you could just keep it checked and run the game straight from your game data, like so. So it will take some time to load. I'm running the game on Vulkan, so there's no glitches and stuff like that. And I have, uh, let me see, in my config, I have, <clears throat> I have audio enable buffering to 20, so it won't, it will buffer and there won't be any lags, but it won't buffer too much. Let's skip that. So we're in the game. And when we go to quick play, solo quick play, and there it is, Afterlife. And we demonstrated that it's working. Guitar, hard, there's loading. It will keep loading forever if you fail to install the... <sighs> cannot word right now. <laughs> and it's working!
You can do this with any DLC you find online. So as you see, it fully works. You can do this with any DLC you find. And that's it. If you don't have the... how it's called... Um, the thing you put in your X data, if you don't have RIP file, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you can uh, Google it. I don't know. I never been to this situation. I never downloaded such song. So, there it is. You can play any DLC song except uh, Rock Band 3, obviously, songs. And uh, like Green Day, Beatles songs. You can play Rock Band 2 DLCs, you can play Rock Band 1 DLCs. And it's awesome. I finally figured it out. i never seen a single YouTube video about this, so I decided to make one. And share with people. Because I saw people were about to do that, but I never saw them do it. And here it is. Hope you enjoyed, hope it worked for you, as it worked for me. And wish you luck on that. See you in the next video, I guess. Maybe. Goodbye.